Hi guys, it's Chloe Leah here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with a skincare video. If you haven't noticed, I don't have on any makeup. Like I have on nothing, no eyebrow, um, pencil, no mascara, not even chapstick or lipstick, I have nothing on. And that's because I'm gonna come to you guys today with the first impressions video. The skincare video or skincare product that I'm gonna be trying today is the Eliza Vecca Milky Piggy Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask. And this is what it looks like I've been seeing this all over um, YouTube and different social um, media platforms like um, Instagram and Facebook. And I was like, I have to try this because you guys know I'm a beauty product junkie and I'm all about skincare. So I wanted to come on here and share my first impressions live with you, my YouTube family. So all of this is in Korean. It is um, a Korean beauty brand. And so I'm going to be looking down at my iPad to read some of the facts about the brand. So this is from Mimi Box and it says, pamper your pores with a bubble bath. We love this bubble clay mask, not only for scrubbing and um, out makeup and oil while unclogging pores, but also for washing up so um, washing up so much more. So it's packed with charcoal powder and this quirky carbonated mask cleanses, exfoliates and unclogs pores. It bubbles as it sloughs out of dead skin scales and lifts pore clogging dirt and sebum. So now I'm going to go to Amazon for the instructions. So it basically says that you can put this on your face with makeup or on a bare face. So like I said, um, my face is bare. It is devoid of any makeup. So I wanted to try it that way before I tried it with actual makeup just to see how well it would work. And it says um, after about three to five minutes, massage your face lightly for one minute. And then it says put some water on your face and massage lightly. And then it says wash your face off with warm water. So if you guys would like to see my first impressions of the Eliza Vecca Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask, then stay tuned. So this is what the clay mask looks outside of the box. It's a really cute packaging, but I can't understand nothing on here. So upon opening the lid, it comes with a little spatula, I guess, to help you smooth on the mask onto your face, which is great. So I've taken the lid off, and if you guys can see how really weird and gross it looks, it has an interesting smell also. With that being said, I'm going to actually start diving in and putting this mask on my face. So stay tuned. I'm back and I have the mask on my face and it feels so strange. I cannot even explain it. So from the time I placed it on, it was like a dark gray color and as it's starting to carbonate, it's starting to foam, if you guys can see. What's also interesting about this mask is that I can hear like the bubbles forming as I'm sitting here. Like you guys can hear it, but I can't. It's so from the time I put it on, it was a thin layer of foam, but now as I'm continually sitting here, the foam is getting thicker and it's pretty good. So I'm gonna let this sit for about three to five minutes, come back, and then I'm gonna rub it in on film as the instructions say. So it's been about three or five minutes. So I'm kind of just going to rub the foam in and so this is what my face looks after I rub the product in. As you guys can see it's still foaming but it's over. So I'm going to let this sit for another minute, rinse it off and then I'm going to come back to you guys with the first impression of this bubble clay mask. Hey guys, I'm back with my first impression of the Eliza Vecca Milky Piggy Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask and this mask is amazing. Um, it's very unique in the way it it foams and it carbonates like really on your skin. You can feel it working. Um, you can feel the bubbles foaming. It's almost like you feel the toxins kind of being pulled out of your skin. Um, it is a little messy if you do not have a spatula. So I'm so happy that they sent the spatula with the product because trying to apply it on your face with your fingers while it's carbonating can be really extreme. And you don't have a lot of um, downtime in between application to foaming. So once you put it on, I guess the air and the oxygen that's in the air kind of really zaps in and makes the mask carbonate immediately. So you have a very small window from product application to carbonation. And then even as you're rubbing it into your face, like I felt the tingling sensation from the different um, ingredients in the mask. And it felt amazing. Like my face right now feels so baby smooth. So I don't have anything on my face. I just rinsed my face off and it feels amazing. Um, I would say go out and get this. this mask